Welcome to another Guitar Vault video. Today we are going to be talking about a really awesome bird love guitar. Um, this is one that... <laughs> so I dig around in the bird love portal sometimes because I need to find information on other instruments or something and I guess I've become a little notorious for finding instruments that haven't actually been announced yet. This is one of those... Um, I was looking in the portal last year sometime and I saw this guitar and I'm like, I don't know about that. So I emailed our rep and I was like, hey, like, what is this? And our rep, Steve, who I love so much, he's retired now, but shout out to Steve. Love you. But he's been in that family for years. But he emails the national sales manager, Jerry, and he's like, Jerry, what is this? I don't know about it either. Well, Jerry's like, I don't know about it either. So he had to email their head designer and she's like, Jerry, we talked about this two weeks ago in a staff meeting and he didn't remember, but we got first dibs on it and it's a really cool limited edition guitar. This is a Premier Concertina with Cinquereta top and Brazilian Rosewood back and sides. So let's talk about the Concertina body first before we get into the real exciting stuff here. Okay, so the Concertina body is Breedlove's answer to like a parlor guitar, so a smaller body guitar. Um, so if you're familiar with Breedlove, they do their bodies just a little bit different, trying to actually go for, you know, within these size parameters, how can we get the absolute best tone? Um, and the Concertinas have been just absolutely stellar. Um, you get a surprising amount of bass and volume out of their Concertinas, um, and when you combine just the overall body design with sound optimization, they are just incredible guitars. So, concertina body is your smaller body. Um, you're gonna have a one and three quarters nut. Uh, it's a t joint, the neck and body are joined at the 12th fret. Um, so that moves your bridge back into this more wide part of the body. That's part of how you're getting more uh, tone and driving the top a little better. Uh, it's a 25 inch scale length. Um, that's kind of the specs. Yeah, the thing is that's just the incredible base. sounding. So. Yeah, that's the basics of it, but it really is just a bigger sounding and more comfortable parlor body. So it's an excellent body shape. Now we get into the tone woods. We've got Sinker Redwood, and this is a gorgeous piece of Sinker Redwood. So in order for it to be Sinker, it has to be a redwood tree that has fallen into a body of water. Um, typical Sinker is going to be a fresh water body right. um but there is also like ocean sinker this is just regular sinker so it was in like a river or a lake or something um and then over time being sunken in that water it actually changes the crystal structure of the grain of the wood um so the cellulose becomes crystallized basically. yes yeah. yeah so it just has a very unique tone compared to regular redwood um very highly sought after, especially by like finger style players, because it's just a really dynamic response and it is really well known for um, opening up over time and just really kind of sounding so great the more you play it. You have one at home that runs away with itself now because it has opened up so yeah, much. Yeah, so it's, it's a guitar that you don't leave on a stand when you're pl while you're playing another guitar because it will start to resonate. It's yeah. so lively. Or like you set the case down and you can hear the guitar start to resonate. Yeah. Just very responsive wood. And then let's flip this around here. The holy grail of all acoustic tone woods. This is Brazilian Rosewood and this one has a gorgeous piece. Um, Brazilian Rosewood is illegal to harvest now so there is such a limited supply of it. Um, but, and it's such a, what's the word, protected species um, of wood. Um, so we're really lucky to even get some of it. I think Breedlove may have the largest stash of Brazilian for guitar makers. Yeah, but they're def definitely ethically. the largest. Yeah, definitely the largest source of ethically um, harvested wood or reclaimed wood. Uh, that's part of how mm -hmm. you can still get um, Brazilian is to reclaim it from crazy stuff. I mean, there yeah. are parts of the world where they used Brazilian rosewood as beams for roofs and doors and yeah. all kinds of stuff. Their Breedlove so. has a stash that the owner, Tom Bedell, actually saw some church doors in yeah. Spain and was like, I want those doors. And so that's how we get some guitars now. You got to get creative, but you got to make sure you're doing it ethically, which they have done. And Brazilian just gives you a really rich, powerful tone and it pairs so well with this sinker 
redwood. Um, aesthetic specs here, we've got maple, flamed maple binding and rosette. Um, just really natural, kind of understated look, but it really kind of pops against the darker tone woods that they have on here. It's a natural finish. You would never want to like mess with either of these tone woods because they are so beautiful on their own. Um, and then we've got the interlocking diamond inlay on the fretboard and you've got the slotted wave headstock up at the top there. Overall, just a really beautiful instrument and we've got a pickup system here. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so the pickup system they chose to put in this is an LR Bags. This is the Anthem True Mic system. Um, pretty unique system. There's a microphone that actually is mounted underneath the bridge plate and it's configured in what they call a PZM configuration. So basically it's a cardioid mic pattern uh, pointed at the top. So it works uh, as what we call a boundary mic in Pro Audio. Um, what that's gonna do is give you uh, pretty much a studio quality mic sound, uh, but having it hidden inside the guitar and also it's gonna give you a lot better control over feedback. So it's a pretty cool system. Um, there's enough interest in this system and enough confusion about it. We'll probably do a separate video about the system itself, but it is a really good um, electronic system for an acoustic guitar. All right, yeah, let's take a listen to this guitar and look at some of the details. And if you see me reflected back in the details as I am trying to film them, I am sorry, Brazilian Rosewood, it's a mirror. These are such glossy guitars, it just acts as a mirror, so you'll see my face, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Breedlove Premier Concertina Limited Edition with Sinker Redwood Top and Brazilian Rosewood Back and Sides. It's an absolutely gorgeous guitar. We are so excited about this guitar. It sounds so good and it's just, see he can't even stop playing it while I'm talking. This happens a lot with this guitar. <laughs> Um, but if you like our content, go ahead and follow us on all our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, whatever it is now. Um, YouTube, Pinterest, all the things. Give us a follow, give us a like, give us some comments, let us know what you want to see, and we'll see you next time.